Good afternoon. Hi. May I have your name? Uh, Vicky. Okay, Vicky. Welcome to All Time Media. You're talking with ATM Fox. Welcome to the channel, Vicky. Nice to meet you. How old are you? Uh, 26. Okay, you're young. You're young. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you from, Vicky? Uh, originally Maple Shade. I moved out here like 10 years ago. You said Maple Shade? Mm -hmm. Moved to Camden 10 years ago. Okay. Yeah. What can you say about this place, Camden, New Jersey? Um, it has its its own story to it, you know, like positives and negatives. Okay. I definitely learned a lot. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? No, not anymore. I did at first, you know, but it's like a dark cloud over the city now. It changed a lot. It's not the same. Right. And Vicky, I like your glasses. They're cool. Thanks. <laughs> So, what was your childhood like, um, growing up at Maple Shade? I mean, alright, I guess it was okay, you know. You had both parents, were they in your life? No, I didn't know my dad. Uh, I had a stepdad eventually who came in my life, and then my mom and him got divorced. My mom disappeared. So, uh, my stepdad took my little brother because that's his son with him and I got sent with my grandma until she died, so. That's why at 16 I ended up out here. I was on my own. Your grandma lived in Camden? No, when she passed, she lived in Cinnamon Vincent, but when she passed away, I had moved out here with a friend. Okay, are you still uh, close with that friend at all or no? No, uh, she, actually, she actually passed away. Passed away. Sorry mm -hmm. to hear about that. I'm sorry for your loss. It's all right. These ants. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. They're around. <laughs> are you dealing with any drug addictions today? Yeah. And what drugs are you addicted to? Uh, uh, dope and and crack cocaine. The dope I'm kicking right now. I got the supplicate shot. So best That's thing good. I ever did. Yeah. Got the supplicate shot, mm -hmm. but you're still addicted to the hair. I mean, the uh, crack. Yeah. When's the last time you used dope? Um, I, I'll do a bag like every three days. I'm still on my first shot, so I still get kind of like sick when I don't, but not until like the third day without it. They say by the third shot you don't get sick anymore. So by then I should be I should be good, like done with it completely. That's good. You're trying to kick this addiction, huh? Yeah. Yeah, this isn't me. How were you introduced? Uh, my my ex-boyfriend, you know, he ain't put a gun to my head. I made my own choice by trying this, you know. All right. Is that the person you had moved in with? No. Oh, okay. No. Oh, I didn't see that tattoo on your neck. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice. What is it? Can it's you... a Gemini sign. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you like tattoos, huh? Yeah, I love tattoos. Hmm. I love them. So, um, you have any family members in your life today that help um, you deal with your addiction? No, I mean, my little brother's good to text and stuff, but he'll like help me out through text messages. But my mom, I don't talk to her. She, we don't know where she at, so she has her own addiction problems. Oh. Okay. But you know, my uh, my addiction counselor helps a lot. How often are you using the crack substance? Right now, I'm still struggling with that a lot. You know, I'm not going to lie. I'm still battling that one a lot. I I tried to kick one at a time, you know. I don't want right. to overwhelm myself. All right, take it easy. You got yeah. it. You got it. You can do it. Have you ever tried to get clean before? No, I, I never really used before. It's only been a year since I've been using these things. Mm. This is all still, like, you know, new to me. I used to pop a pill every now and then or, like, drink or, you know, take a Xan or perk, but never, never this stuff. <laughs> never, never this much. No. Okay. Now, what's your living arrangements like, Vicky? What's my what? Living arrangements like. I stay where I can, when I can. Sometimes I gotta sleep outside. Shelter beds are full right now, so you gotta call every day, every day. See if a bed opened up. If somebody beat you to it, or the caller before you got the bed, you know, you're kind of fucked. Camden County's welfare is a little different. 
-hmm. they don't help as quickly as Burlington County's welfare would have helped, you know? Right, okay. How long have you been homeless for? It's been almost a whole year now. Okay. Almost a whole year now. And what happened with the last place you were staying at? I had an apartment in a uh, second month corpse. And uh, the lady I was <laughs> renting it from hated my boyfriend. She knew him personally and didn't want him there at all. And even I paid rent, so I looked at it like, how can you tell me who I can have there? And I still allowed him there, and she, she kicked me out of there. So that put me where I'm at now. Okay. Now, Vicky, do you have a job? No, I, I worked my entire life, so this, this is new to me. I'm fucking up bad. I'm not working right now. How are you managing to acquire funds for your habit? Totally incriminating myself, but um, I, I go boosting. <laughs> I go boosting, you know. I get orders from people, and I'll go to the store. You have to do that every day? Every day. Every day. Unless someone's nice enough to like bless me one day and then I can have a break. But every day. People out here ever steal from you? Every day. One day I woke up, no shoes on. I was walking around with no shoes. Mm, mm, mm. No shoes. I got lucky, walked down a set actually and they gave me a pair of shoes. Mm. You think, if any, you think if anybody in your family was to see this video, they'd possibly come out here and try to help you? No. I have reached out to my mother, and uh, she's an attention seeker. So now she's trying to use my addiction for attention. Like, you know, oh, well, when she gets clean, I'll help. But she abandoned us before I even had an addiction problem. Mm. So you know what I mean? And I, I don't want help. I'm, I'm going to do it myself, and if I can, I'll go to a rehab. Do you have anyone out here that you can turn to? Or really, any friends, any... There anyone? isn't really friends out here. Everything's what for what benefits them. You can't rely on anyone but yourself out here. You're all you got, really. Mm. You want to start a business with YouTube? You want to get started creating a podcast? Purchase our new ebook and get all the information you need for only $10. My name is ATM Ray, and I will offer informative steps, advice, and ideas to seek potential success in YouTube and podcasting. Remember, get all the information you need for only $10. Link is below or above. Where do you see yourself in the next six months, Vicky? Um... The next six months, hopefully, like, I know for a fact I'll be I know, I know for a fact I'll be done with the heroin. The heroin will be done, and if I wasn't able to kick the crack cocaine by myself, I'll be in a, a rehab facility, getting my life together. So that way, when I come out, I can go back to work and school. You got big plans. I like it. Yeah. What did you want to be growing up? Um, I always wanted to be a pediatric oncologist, like a, a, a doctor for kids with cancer. I always did work in the medical field. I mean, I was a bartender once, but I got my CNA when I was 16. I started going to school for my LPN. So I already started steps in that field. I just got to go back into it. That's a wonderful job to have, you know? Yeah. Very exciting, too. Yeah. Helping out children. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You should get back to it. You, you can do it. I know. I know. I'm going to. It's nothing out here, for me at least. Some people don't see past the city. They're content with where they're at out here, and I'm not content. You see yourself having a future, yeah. not being stuck on these streets, you know? Yeah. When you get back and you know, having your own apartment, right? Yeah. Right, that's good. You have any kids, Vicky? Uh, no. That's good, too. No. You still have some. She yeah. Clean. <laughs> yeah, I plan on it. Can't bring a kid into the world so I can give it everything it needs. 
you know. Do you ever see change for Camden? I see change for Camden when people start to change for themselves. Until then, you know, nothing's gonna change. What will you tell a young person out here ripping and running the streets, Vicky, in the same shoes as you? As you? you know? What would you tell a young person? Just go home. A lot of these kids actually have family and have a choice to go home. And they choose to be out here, you know? Go home, because there's nothing out here for you, and it will eat you alive, take everything from you. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Next thing you know, you'll be 40-something years old, just like these old OGs, and still nothing going. It's not worth it. I think everybody deserves better than that. I know. That's true. They do. They do. You think the president can come out here and change this place? Fix it up? I think he can fix it up. Yeah, I mean, like, physical, physical. Look-wise, he can fix it up. And I think if the people see that, then maybe they'll have more hope. And I think the people did lose hope. You know, I mean, you look at all the vandals and all the streets and the only nice roads are by the hospitals, you know, for the people that don't live in the city. And the city's not happy about that. People that live here, they don't get anything from it. Nothing nice. You know what I mean? He can make some change. He can make some change. What do you miss most about your old life? <laughs> Uh, people that know me know oh, my jobs. <laughs> I always worked, kept myself busy, my car, you know, happiness, happiness. That's what I miss most. Stability. Stability. The drugs. Yeah. The drugs is the reason. Yeah, they're the reason for everything. They'll take everything from you. I wish I never picked it up. And if you never did, where do you think you would be now? I'd probably already be almost completed my journey to my end goal with my dream job or my dream house. Or I could already own a house with a mortgage or without. Like, I'd own things, property. It's all about property. Mm -hmm. Well, Vicky, 26 is very young. Still got a lot of opportunity left in you. Yeah. It may be a long fight, but I can see you beating it for sure. I'm trying. I'm trying. You know? I know you may not have many people in your corner, but uh, I'm going to give you my email contact information. And uh, if you ever need motivation or maybe a helpful hand, or, you know, I can set up donations for you, anything for you to get clean, though. I'd appreciate that. And um, help you get off the streets. You deserve it. Thank you. I'd like to thank you for your time, Vicky. My pleasure. You've been a wonderful interviewee for me. And All Time Media, we'll be praying for you. Thank you. Join All Time Media's Patreon for exclusive content and behind-the-scenes content and face-to-face -face live video chat. Thank you, guys. The link is in the description below.